Welcome gamers to Super Beard Bowl Season 2, where you vote on which series you want to see next. This month, the bros are playing the Oregon Trail. Can they get from Independence to Oregon City, or will they die in the process? Find out this month on the Beard Bowl. The next public vote is live this week, so click on the description if you want to be part of the bowl. Hello, everyone. Welcome to How Did the Series Get Picked? <laughs> That's your are. vibe? <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you guys picked this. Welcome to it. Uh, it's this true. is Super Beard Bowl, Oregon. Oregon? What? Somebody from Oregon, educate me. I want to point out that this, this game won by like two or three votes. Uh, mm. And. Uh, you, you could have been a contender. We could have played some fun completionist games, but here we are playing the Oregon Trail. <laughs> the attitude the in the voice is very funny. The here. power <laughs> of the people. We could, have, we could have could have delicious, delicious ice cream, but no, you guys chose that. So you guys, you guys chose the Oregon Trail. Alex, Brett, and Gerard are here. Hi. Ted is in the background doing his thing. Hello. Hello. Uh. Let's do it. We got to name everybody after somebody at the office. Should we learn about the trail or should we travel the trail? See um, the Oregon top 10. Interesting. I don't even know what that is. Very interesting. Yeah, I don't remember this game, guys. In case you guys don't know, this is an old computer game uh, from back in the day. This is not like, like, oh, I'm surprised I didn't hear about this in the latest Nintendo Direct. I wonder what indie studio. <laughs> no, this is no, th this is real shit. Back, this is back in like if you if you got sent to the computer lab in like grade yeah! school back in the day in our day at least yeah! yeah you were hoping that you could like sneakily play this and not it was, do work yeah it was this yeah. or number munchers mm. oh for me for me it was Operation Neptune what in the hell is Operation Neptune you you play in a little submarine and then okay. like it's like a shooting game where you like deep sea divers and then like you find a chest and you open the chest and it's like you found a great treasure. Here is that treasure. Tommy and Brian are on a train traveling from oh. Oregon to New York. Oh, <laughs> they that's not remember a this great thing. treasure. <laughs> I remember this game now. I'm looking at it. I, it weirded me out because I think Operation Neptune was the name for D-Day uh, when, oh, okay. <laughs> when it happened. But I, yeah, it's like a submarine game. So basically, game. guys, or the Oregon Trail is, it's what we had growing up and we mm -hmm. were happy to have it. Settlers, and we're traveling to Oregon from somewhere in the middle of the country. I can't remember where. Uh, uh, fun, fun fact, if you go to the Cowboy Museum located in Burbank, California, yeah, huh. um, you can they, they have a whole display dedicated to the Oregon Trail and with the real working computer, and you can sit down and play it. Huh. Hell yeah. You know, in the age of COVID, that sounds terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure no one's going to the museum nowadays, but yeah. That being said, I bet you that there's no lines. I should check it out. Yeah, it's a pretty tight museum. I loved it. Let's travel uh, the trail. Yeah, let's travel. Okay. Oh, banker, carpenter, farmer, or find out the difference between these choices. Oh, oh I assume wow. far I assume a farmer has more food like supplies. I assume a carpenter has more like building supplies, and I assume a banker has more money. But that's just my mm, like that's ignorant. What, that's what I'm assuming too. Ignorant and, guess, and you know, carpenter. Jesus, you know, you're right. He was a you carpenter. Know, he he <laughs> was. Our, he he is our homie. So, well, well what do you think is most important? Like, if we're gonna take the TOVG office crew to Oregon, like, what do you think is gonna be our biggest challenge? All right, I'm gonna tell you this. The one thing I remember about this game is that the the most fun part was hunting. Oh yeah. Right? Oh yeah. That's the that's the only true part that is has right. any gameplay elements. The rest and, is text. And I remember being like. I, the one thing I remember is like, oh, you killed too many buffalo, dude. You can't kill anymore. And you like, I, you like just left him out there. Yeah, like it was like you can't carry any more buffalo, so you can't hunt. And <laughs> Damn. I'm like, shit. So I don't want to be a farmer because, I, like, I want to be able to get as hunt. much food as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
I mean, I feel like maybe money is the way to go, but like, does money really help us in the frontier versus what you're carpenter? asking is, is do the savages of the wild west uh, care about well, money like, are from there Boston? towns like are, I don't remember if there's like towns where you can buy stuff where the money would be helpful or if it's like just maybe we run into somebody. I don't know. I don't know. I never made it that far. I never made it that far. <laughs> you never made it to Oregon? <laughs> no. I'm absolutely. <laughs> well, we're going to we're going to get the fuck there today, let me tell you. Well, what do you think, Gerard? Let's just find out. Traveling Oregon isn't easy. More money for supplies uh-huh. and services than a carpenter. Therefore, the farmer earns the greatest number of points and the banker earns the least. Oh, oh it's just it's just easy, medium, hard. Interesting. This game's already hard. Let's just go with being a banker. Okay, so so who's first name of the wagon leader? I feel like that should be you. <laughs> look at the okay. Look at the baby. <laughs> I just don't appreciate how like it looks like the baby's standing up. You know, <laughs> like inside. I feel like he is. Yeah, but if you can stand up that steadily, you don't need a you, not, you, you don't need one of those baby bonnets on, you know? <laughs> YouTube? YouTube? <laughs> yes. So you guys yeah, are coming with us on the on You guys the, are uh, coming with us. <laughs> yeah. We, we I, I expect I expect all of you at home to do your fucking part, god damn it. Genius. You have to get to Oregon. Okay. It is 1848. Your jumping off place for Oregon is Independence, Missouri. Uh-huh. South to Norm. You must decide which month to leave Independence. Oh, wow. Uh, we want to avoid the fucking winter, dude. Well, I mean, uh, how long? I, I mean, if we're going across the country, I assume it's going to take us months to get there. Period. Right. right. So I feel like if we do July, we're going to be hitting Oregon around the time of winter. Should I, should I just ask her advice here? I mean, it's the educational thing to do. Mm-hmm. You attend a public Oregon meeting fever. held for folks with California organ fever. You're <laughs> oh. told if you leave too early, there won't be any grass for your oxen to eat. If you leave too late, you may not get to Oregon before winter comes. If uh-huh. you leave just the right time, there will be green grass and the weather will still be cool. Mm, okay. Well, we can split the difference. May or June, somewhere in there. Yeah. I guess May is right in the middle. Right. They're going to be like, wrong. You should have chosen none of them. We'll it's a dumb idea out. to go west. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have 1600 bucks in cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. Okay. So we just need to get to the first. Oh, Matt. Wonderful. Oh, man. Look at Matt. He looks like oh, an oh, automaton. I'm Matt, you're going to Oregon. I can fix you up with what you need. A team of oxen to pull. <laughs> and clothing for both summer and winter. Matt Matt has been body snatched. Okay. <laughs> Plenty of food for your trip, ammunition for your rifle, spare parts for your wagon. Okay. Oxen, oh. food, clothing, ammo, spare parts. Yeah, maybe a little bit of everything, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think I think ammo we should get some. Yeah. I mean, yeah, a little bit of everything. You're right. right. Okay, we'll start with the oxen then, huh? Yeah. There are two oxen in a yoke. I recommend at least three yoke. I will charge 40 a yoke. How many yoke do you want? Oh, Let's getting the kids to do a little math, huh? Let's do like five yoke. Damn, dude. That way, because well, cause here's what I figure. One or two of them are going to get either <laughs> aced out or sick or like a wolf's going to come. Something like that. So I feel like if we need at least three yoke to get there, we should have some backup steer. I understand that. I understand. Okay. Can't go wrong with some oxen. So we're going to do five yoke. Well, like we need six. Is four enough backup or should we just do double? Like, I I don't know. If we do uh do six yoke is Uh six oxen. It's 12. No, 12 oxen. Oh, then let's do six. That's enough. Okay. Okay. Food, clothing, ammunition, spare parts. Uh Let's just go down the list. I, I sell, I sell mainly two, oxen for food. So uh, 200 <laughs> pounds of food for each person in your family. I see that you'll have five people in all. You'll need flour, sugar, bacon, and coffee. My price is 20 cents a pound. It's like my, my grocery pounds list. of food. You need coffee. <laughs> okay, so we need 1,000 pounds of food. Correct? Right, right. 
Oh, shit. Okay. But you need to take a thousand pounds of food for each person in your family. Maybe we should take the bare minimum since we're like, well, we're going to shoot a bunch of oxen. I mean, we're going to shoot a bunch of bear. Yeah, we're going to Hopefully not oxen. (laughs) Yeah, if we're shooting our own oxen, things have gone horribly wrong. (laughs) Things have gone gone bad. I think we should take just the bare minimum of food because I think we can find food in the wilderness, but I, I don't know. That's my thought. Well, okay. If so it's less 20 food, cents a more pound, ammunition. If it's twenty cents a pound at two hundred pounds, that's what uh, twenty four? times two hundred or twenty times a thousand. Twenty cents times a thousand, like two hundred bucks. It's not too bad for a thousand pounds. That's that's the bare minimum that he's that Matt is suggesting. But I don't necessarily trust Matt. He looks like he's accessing some data in cyberpunk right now. He does I mean, kind of look like look. like an episode of Next Generation where data like goes to the old west. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand why settlers need coffee, Captain. All right. Well, I'm I think we should go at least the bare minimum. Yeah. I think we should do 1k. All right. Clothing, ammunition, and spare parts. Let's go to clothing. One Taking clothing. at least two sets of clothes per person. Each set is 10 bucks. Oh. So twenty a person, two sets of clothes. This is another bucks. one. This is another Five one people. where I feel like bare minimum is fine because I feel like clothes are something like if we <laughs> get to a town, we'll be able to buy more. And I don't know who's who's with us. Maybe Ted can like make slacks out of buffalo skins. I have no idea. Ted, can you make slacks out of buffalo skins? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, oh there yeah. you go. There you go. Easy. <laughs> so how many sets of clothes we want? We want. Ten, per person. Right? Ten? Two per person? Yeah. All right. Ammunition. Also, ammunition in boxes of 20 per bu- or twenty bullets each costs two bucks. Uh-huh. Okay. So two bucks for every 20 shots? Does it? Do you yeah. remember, like, do you happen to remember how many shots it takes down to take a buffalo? <sighs> That's a good question. I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's also bears and squirrels and shit. Oh, shit. Then we need a thousand boxes of ammo. (laughs) I think we need. That is the American way. I think we need. I think we need. Like if we get five boxes, that's that's a hundred shots. Right. Is that enough? Let's see. Each box costs. It's only two Get ten boxes of ammo. That doesn't seem like that bad, right? That's $20. $20. Yeah. And then spare parts. We should we should go ham on just in case we throw a wheel. How many Uh, wagon wheels? Wagon axle, wagon tongue. What's a wagon tongue? I understand the other two. Wagon axle, wagon wheel, wagon tongue. The front? Wagon tongue is when you're talking too much. I think it's the thing that like (laughs) comes out towards the oxen, no? Maybe. Don't know. The thing you like lash into. Yeah, that could be. No, the axle, the axle's the spoke on the right side of the wheel, right? The axle goes through the wheels. Right. So then the the tongue must be the, the thing that pokes through the wheel then. I think the yeah, axle is the thing that pokes through the wheel. On the outside of the wheel. I think, no. the, yeah, it's still part of the axle. I see. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Dude, if you're, if you're out there and you know, tell me how to pronounce Oregon and tell me how to tell me what a wagon we, tongue we is. Have, well, we have Google. We can just I'm Googling. Yeah, I'm Googling. They didn't have Google in the 1800s, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, also well, doesn't have big fat dudes much either. Dude, I do you think that you would have an advantage, like, as a fat person, like, like, I, I I'm like the tongue. The tongue is the is the wooden um, thing that you pull the whole the whole uh, wagon from. Like oh, it, it's it's oh. it's like yeah. Uh, if you don't talk about the part that connects to the oxen, correct? Yes. Yeah. I see. Oh I see. yeah, because it looks like a tongue. <clears throat> okay. Well, to answer your question, I think that uh, I would be eaten by wolves almost immediately. I think <coughs> we should get a full replacement set. Of each thing. How many axles is that then? Two? Two. Two. I think How many four, tongues? One? Yeah. Four wheel. Your wagon may only carry oh, three wagon wheels. Then Ooh. there you go. Okay. okay. Two? I got three oh, okay. each. All right. Are we sure we're good with ammo? Ammo just seems like such a little expense. I mean, it's just bullets compared to like... Food and I mean, like it's only a hundred. Double it up. Double. I mean, look at all our money. Double that shit. And you can buy stuff along the way. 
So can you, right. if you say 10, does it make it double? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm fine. I'm happy with this. So you still got almost a thousand dollars after this transaction, you know? Yeah. And I'm sure we'll hit a couple towns on the way. Yeah. I'm sure we'll ransack, pillage, rape, you know, it's all Is good. that part of it? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, that good, crisp sound. <laughs> Look at the guy in the bottom right. I sure do hope I get to shoot somebody. And then this guy in the front. <laughs> I'm the smallest cowboy in town. <laughs> and My then the mouth purple is guy is like, if he goes down, then that title goes to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my horse. <laughs> the guy in the center. How do you do, ma'am? <laughs> they have the same size face and features as the tiny cowboys. Those were my sons. Little tiny green, little tiny purple. <laughs> they just mix the colors on their clothes. Okay, oh, okay. Man. Look at map. Weather Maybe cool. More. Health good. Pay steady rations filling. Okay, great. What's your choice? Okay, let's see. Wait, wait, hold on. What are the choices? Continue. Check supplies. Look at map. Will you check the supplies real quick? All right, great. That's what that looks like. Now we know. Okay. Yeah, we still have good money left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I would change look at the map, pace. maybe. Change food rations. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, like, see what we're facing, like, in terms of, like, terrain. Woo! So we're in Independence, Missouri, which seems like it should be farther south than it is. But maybe I'm wrong. And then it looks like we're going to hit mountains about halfway through. Yeah, we can and then we're gonna go. We're gonna either gonna go through Chimney Rock or go up. Man, the Dalles Ooh. has been there. Like I drive through that still today. Uh, okay. I mean, I. It's to be honest, it's not as good of a map as I was hoping. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to talk right. to people? Do we okay. want to look at our pace? Pace steady, I think that's yeah, yeah. a fine Check place. Check out the pace. Change pace. Currently steady. Pace at which you travel can change. Your choices are steady, strenuous, grueling. I know what these do. Yeah, let's find out what they mean. You travel about eight hours a day, taking frequent rests. You you care not to get too tired. Strenuous, you travel about 12 hours a day, starting just after sunrise and stopping shortly before sunset. You stop to rest only when necessary. You finish each day feeling very tired. Grooming, you travel about 16 hours a day, starting before sunrise and continuing until dark. You almost never stop to rest. You do not get enough sleep at night. You finish each day feeling absolutely exhausted and your health suffers. I think we're all, if we're talking about 2021 vibes, I think we're all under the uh, grueling tab. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel that. But I mean, I think for now, I feel like grueling for us is going to be reserved for like, oh shit, there's a snowstorm today coming. Mm. Sure. But I think I think steady is a good way to set out at the very least. Steady at first. What about talking to people? Let's talk to tiny tiny cowboys. Oh. A trader named Jim tells you better take extra oh. sets of clothing. Trade them to Indians for fresh vegetables, fish, or meat. I like those it's things. It's well worth hiring an Indian guy at river crossings. Expect to pay them. They're sharp traders, not easily cheated. Okay. So let's buy a little like bit more. <laughs> He says not easily cheated like Jim. You've tried, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, just, I'll tell you a story next time you're in town. Uh, I think I think we should buy some more clothes. I think he's right. Can we do that? Because I was just thinking about for us, like, I think maybe if we bought a few more sets of clothes, it might be worth it as 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 currency. I didn't think about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's very cheap. So, yeah. We How many sets? You too warm. Could, I mean, you could triple that, honestly. It's pretty cheap. Is it? Uh, so we want to do what? 10, 20 set? Or it's 20 per set per person. I would get like five more sets. Mm -hmm. So 10 sets? I think if you if you buy five here, you'll just get the five. Right, we're talking two sets of clothing per person, though. That's what we have right now is we have 10 sets of clothing, but I'm saying right, yeah. we should maybe just get like five more sets of clothing for okay. trading with with Native Americans. Sure. At this, at this time, they weren't Native Americans. Uh, yeah, let's leave the store. I think we're good. 
What do you guys think about buying more ammunition? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think after we hunt once, we'll have a, a good idea of whether we need it. I don't know, guys. There's something about having ammo in a gun that makes me feel very patriotic about this. It feels you know? really safe. It just is safe. It feels really safe and unregulated. Ger- and Gerard is slowly turning into that guy on the, the splash screen <laughs> on the bottom right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, let's do it. Continue on the trail. Let's see what happens. From Independence, it is 102 miles to Kansas River Crossing. This All is right. my this is my shit. This is what I remember already. Yeah. One of the oxen is oh. injured. What the f- wait? What? We have traveled yeah, zero dude. miles. Press enter. What? What? Is that do this is enter? Yeah. Let's just let's Continue. just let's just go. What the fuck? What? What? What the hell? <laughs> okay, so it's about we can get about twenty miles a tick. I'm sorry. What I like I just imagine like we are all in the wagon. Like everybody huh. ready? Yeah! Let's go! And you like whip the fucking oxen and the oxen's and ankle one just <laughs> snaps wow. off. I don't know what the fuck happened to just him. Dies. <laughs> And then we're all standing there looking at him and like looking at each other because we don't know what happened. And then the oxen literally dies with us looking at it. And we're like, oh, sick, some fruit. Uh, let's look around. Yeah, definitely. Oh. It's a little vista, a little pixel art. Uh, uh. Mm. That, that purple mountain majesty in the background there. Okay. All right. Uh... Talk to people. Kansas River Cross. Yeah, let's talk. Hey, you guys know about why an oxen would die? Hmm? <laughs> Don't try to Don't. ford any river. Oh. Sh- about two and a half feet. You'll swamp your wagon. Lose your supplies. Mm-hmm. You can chalk the wagon bed and float it. Or be smart and hire me to take your wagon on my ferry. How much? Try to trade? You meet another I- uh, immigrant who wants one ox. She will trade you for one set of clothing. No. no. We already no. lost a fucking ox. Uh, okay. I, I is, mean, is, how is do there we, some, if we press one, is it like, then we get to decide how to ford the river? Right. Try to talk to people one more time. With crowds of people waiting to get on the ferry. We could be stranded here for days. Hope there's enough graze for all those animals. Not many people carry feed. I'd rather wait though than cross than crossing a rickety wagon boat. So, so this that's game two is two times the game's like you might want to use the ferry. They're like, please take the water serious. All right, yeah, let's fucking do it. Can't afford to take a ferry. We're making our wagon into a boat. We'll turn it over, chalk the bottom and sides with our pitch, or with pitch, and use it to float our goods across. Have to swim with the animals. Hope it doesn't rain. The river's high that enough. That sounds like shit. This is like us being a banker. We should just throw the money at this problem for sure. Right. But how do we do that? I Probably th- just continue. Okay. 3.1. It's currently 3.1 Too, in the too deep to, to go across. Take the ferry across. Hell Three, yeah. Right? Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Ferry operator says that it'll charge you five bucks and oh. you'll have to wait five days. Yeah, sure. Uh, five oh. days. Five we, days. We have tons of food. That, Fuck off. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <clears throat> you gotta wait for days. Oh my god, look at that. Yes. And here comes the crocodile. Do you guys ever put a cannoli on top of uh, five sausages? <laughs> I do. <laughs> We gotta listen to breakfast. On. Before we move on, we gotta blow out. But next time on Beard Bros, hopefully the oxen will be fucking safe. Yeah, <laughs> goddamn. All right. Next time on Beard Bros, we enter warm weather. Our health is good. We still have 140 pounds of food. Mm. And we've got 103 miles or 82 miles to travel to the next landmark. Nice. Easy peasy. Next time, next time on Beard Bros, we travel further into the abyss known as the Oregon Trail. Bye. So here we are once again. 
Bearded men have reached the end Well, I don't know what comes next All I know is You made it this far, this is your end card See you next episode, hope you enjoyed the show S-U-P-E-R The Beard Blows